the DeWalt for a long time. Then we got the Milwaukee. Then Andy brought over the Ego blower, and that thing's impressive, but I don't want to skew the thoughts here. So let's just try off simply by like just clearing off this putty. Here. Not, not terrible, but you're gonna have a lot of that stuff deep. Um, it does some. But the stuff that really sticks on there, it does okay. That thing's just, it's impressive. All right, so we have an iPad box. This is gonna be our tester, so let's just put it on this point right here. And like what me and Blake were talking about, we're not talking about this. which one has the longest battery life or blah, blah, blah. We literally wanna talk about, about power, about power and performance and kind of which one we would prefer using. So we're gonna put that on the line Let's do the other blowers first to see how far they go. We'll we'll find something to mark each one of them. So I'm just gonna stand. I mean, people are gonna want me to be specific of where I stand. So we've got a water bottle. We've got this. Did you grab anything you can find? Just anything I can find, man, because this is raw and real, man. And isn't that what people want? I mean, because they're always asking which one do, they, do you like best? Which one's the best? Like, well. Yeah. We'll shoot them and we'll tell you which one we think has the most power. All right, ready? So let's mark that. We'll mark that to the end, right there. Just got back. a little gust of wind in there. Yep. So that is the. Uh, 40 volt DeWalt uh, handheld blower. Let's try the Milwaukee. What's, do you know what the specific name is? The Milwaukee Fuel. Milwaukee Fuel. Fuel. Yeah, main team fuel blower. We stand in the same spot. Look. Look at me. That's as far as I can get it. So I've tried everything. That's it. Okay? So. We can mark that if you want, but we'll mark that one with the stick. Now let's put this. So, let's go this one. An awkward little bounce in there too. Yeah, that was an awkward bounce. I mean, usually on a usually on a test, you're gonna do like a mean and a median. You're gonna do the I'm best out be of three honest. type stuff. I'm gonna be honest. Now, this is gonna get skewed because people are gonna think I'm lying to this. This isn't even mine. I didn't even get this sent. But I think it was because there was so much power, it hit it the box weird and it made it skip. <laughs> I'm serious. I'll try it again. Now look, look where I'm standing. Was I lying? I told you about the box and the skip. Look how far that went. That's at least four feet past the box. Or past I mean, the water bottle. Yeah. Now do it again. Let's let's run the DeWalt back again just to kind of show you. That's where the DeWalt oh, was before. Right. Yep, 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 yep. Now I can tell you guys personally just from experience. That thing is... Milwaukee awesome. and DeWalt send us both these pieces of equipment. We're not biased to it. We're not sponsored to them. They're not paying us to do reviews on it. The Ego right, was actually sent to me by a, a, third, party a third party, a guy that I was just helping well, out. He wanted to send it to me. I mean, of course your tests are going to get skewed. Before we did a test, I told you that, I told Andy that the Ego, man, that thing is very powerful. So, I mean, we can try, I'll try three times. I, you know, I want it to be fair. We're showing the facts here. I mean, this is Right back to the water bottle. Oh, that's, 
Yeah, that's probably where it's at. Nah, I mean, we're just probably three, there. That's probably where. That's probably where the Dewalt. Now let's try the, the Milwaukee. And again, this video we're doing is just talking about power because, performance. Because I want this to be real. I mean, I'll keep doing this even though if it's a long video because I know people are going to be like Blake. You know, I'll just keep doing it. Show you that. So that one went further than it did last time. But still not but quite the up Milwaukee, to the bottle. So this would be the CFM, right? Yeah. Andy kind of knows more about this stuff. I mean, I don't have the specs be, right in front of me. I don't know the specs, but obviously this one doesn't blow as far as DeWalt or the the Ego. Let me try it one more time. The box is flipped the same way. It's an iPad box, if that matters. More on that later to come, why I got an iPad. Okay. Now let's try the big hoss. I mean, the, people will say this how uh, kind of a weird test, and it is. It's kind of rigged, but like a, you know, it's not a very official test. But no, this is this not. This is real, man. Like yeah. this is. We're not scientists in a laboratory with exactly, beakers and Bunsen like, burners. Look which one is stronger. We're just showing you, more. just showing you from and using it. You have them. leaves that are. I mean, wet, and you'll see. <laughs> just smoke the bottle over and does a front flip over it. So, I mean, that's it, man. I mean, I don't know what else to say. That is pushing the turbo button, but it's there. It's there. I mean, the other, the other ones don't have that option. Yeah, I mean, so. And obviously, not having that option is going to save you a longer battery life. And we're not doing a battery life test. We're doing which one has more power. But like, think about people that are using this. I mean, I'll a, throw a it in my guy, truck. If he was going to use one of these, he, he'd have enough batteries. Yeah. If it's a homeowner using it, they're not going to need 30 minutes of to blow off their driveway. Right. You know, you don't need that much time. And the way I use it, I don't use it as my every property blower. I use it as my, well, this property's small and I don't feel like throwing on my backpack blower. So I'll just take yeah. that out of the truck. I mean, so th that's it. So this is the ego. That's all it is. There you go. There you go. The ego power blower. blower. I don't know. Yeah. Like I said, they've actually sent us the Dewalt in the Milwaukee, but this ego was from a third-party company with Andy. So, ego's not paying for this video. I'll, I'll tell you that. Ego's up. not paying for this video. Nobody's Milwaukee's paying. not paying for this video. Dewalt's not paying for this video. I just get a lot of questions, it's and Blake a gets a lot of questions test. on which ones we like the best. That's what we're telling you. Because everybody's like intrigued about this electric stuff so this is a simple test of which one has the most power which one can push the most it's this little guy hit that golf ball all right all right you ready yep well you're on in one huh said so you're on in one yep That one had a had a struggle getting out of it. I mean, yeah, there, I mean, there's endless tests, but if you guys want to see them um, when they're uh, when we're blowing grass and stuff, you'll see that even still, that ego blower has it's got a lot of power. Lot of power. Let's try the other one. <laughs> I mean, try the DeWalt one. See if you can get the DeWalt one to come out straight up. All right. See the DeWalt one though. Does that like a? It'll it go get, right in the tube. Is it gonna get chopped up? <laughs> so you may not get it back. All okay. right. I think it's fine. Let's put it in there. Yeah. So that's all right. I want to try to get the ego that. Milwaukee can't even get it up. <laughs> that's that gonna hurt, man. That's definitely a little bit higher. Uh, but yeah, man. <clears throat> so that's the test. So I guess 
you know, I guess if you're looking for a, a handheld blower and you're looking for the power. Yeah, if you're if you're looking if you're in the market as a homeowner or even a small commercial guy that just wants something for small things, hey, I would personally back over here, man. You're you're losing me. I'd personally go ego. The ego, man. The Dewalt has enough power, Milwaukee, man. I'll tell you the Milwaukee stuff. All right, let's go loudness. Let's go the noise real quick. This one, see, most annoying. See, I, I, it's definitely not the loudest, it's, but it has the most annoying high, sound. Whining. This is definitely the loudest one. Yeah, the DeWalt's definitely the loudest. This one, that's quiet. That's quiet. I mean, so I, I'll, le I'll leave it up to you guys of, of your best choice, but that one's quiet. Now, the battery life, that's probably gonna be the, probably the worst one. If you're always using turbo mode, if you're for using sure. turbo ma mode, that's probably gonna be the worst on battery life. I mean, because you're talking 530 CFM. But with this technology, man, it's you gotta pick your poison. You, you do. Know? So do you want power, do you want the noise, or do you want the battery life? Because on some with less power, you're gonna get longer battery life. You, you know? should. Like that Milwaukee, I know those batteries, they're very good batteries you're probably gonna get the longest battery life out of the Milwaukee. And then you got this to look... But it's not as much power. You got this to look to also as a homeowner, even though we were doing this just on yeah. power, do you wanna buy something where all you can use this battery is just for this piece of equipment? Or do you wanna buy something like the Milwaukee so, or the DeWalt 20 volt? The most versatile piece where you is can use the it with Milwaukee. Her. So, and the other, it, it lost on power, lost on noise, but this battery can be used for a ton Right. Um, Same thing with the DeWalt. Not the DeWalt 40 volt that we're testing, but the DeWalt the 20 volt. volt. So these batteries are bigger. They can only be used for the extended pull hedge trimmer, the trimmers, the backpack blower, and the, this blower, and the hedge trimmer, and the chainsaw. They have a 60 volt that, that, that gets in with the Milwaukee. You can use it on power tools, table saws, things like that. But the same thing with the Ego, is you have a very limited amount you can do with this battery. It's just Ego's outdoor power equipment. That, I the know, trimmer. the Makita stuff, we went down to Makita and tested out. We have, we don't have any equipment of theirs yet, but we'll definitely put it up against the Ego. Um, <clears throat> but their stuff is super versatile, just like the Milwaukee. Um, you can use a, that battery for drills. So you have one charger, one battery, you know. So, I mean, there's so much to look for, but if you're just looking for a blower, this thing, man, it's very good. The welds, I mean, they're all very good, but you're not getting a ton of power with the battery technology. So whatever one has the most power, you're gonna wanna stick with that or go to gas. Look up there real quick, look up there. That's sweet, man. See, I have a wide angle lens though, but that thing's huge. Let's go chase it on the Gravely. So basically, case in point for what we were saying, for using these three pieces of equipment as far as the blowers go, and we're just talking about oh, power. They're, they're pulling the thing. Let's get in the truck and let's go. We're gonna grab it greatly. Let's but when go. you're just talking about power performance, obviously, yeah. just from using it, without even doing these tests, you can tell the Ego has more it's small, power. It's powerful, it's quiet. It does, it has more power. Battery life. I, mean, I couldn't tell you, we haven't you, done the tests for it. You gotta think, like, what what you want. And that's, it's your ultimate decision, and. Neither of us are the type of people that are going to sell you something especially. No. None of this is sponsored by anyone. And I'm going to tell you straight yeah. up, the Ego has the most power. The most power. I don't know about anything else because we haven't done the test. Yeah. But right now, we're going to hop in the Gravely and go chase this airboat. Chase this airboat.